Hello, this is the seventh lecture on paper writing or you can say paper editing. Uh, I am Ahad and uh, I would like to uh, share some of the experiences so that you can uh, improve the writing. Uh, you can have the previous lectures uh, from this link or sh look down uh, on the show more to get more, more links. So uh, normally when you submit, it should be uh, good so that it is not disk reject. Uh, so make sure that your language uh, is better. Uh, try to improve writing skill. Write like a story. It's difficult, I know. Uh, make sure that no uh, simple typo like from to form, data to date, and so on. Avoid grammatical mistakes and no mixed patterns like uh, proposed a method, propose, proposes, have proposed. I mean, uh, these kind of mixtures are not good. Uh, make sure that have or has, are or is. I mean, there's a very simple thing. One of the students is each and every, a and, and so on. I mean, these are a simple thing. Make sure no punctuation problems. And uh, Grammarly.com, I use it recently and I find it is very suitable to give you uh, free of cost some uh, editing and corrections. Uh, no mixed fonts or size. A best option is to use LaTeX. Uh, if you can, and it's not so difficult. In one of my previous lectures, I mentioned about this. No copy paste of images. The number one is that it is an uh, issue of plagiarism at the same time. I mean, image quality and other things. So make sure that the font sizes in images should be clear and same. I have some examples later on, I'll show you. And <laughs> make sure that no rainbow color. I mean, don't overdo uh, uh, while using colors. So for example, in this image, you can see that, I mean, uh, the shapes are different and uh, inside the, the image, the text are not visible. So these are not good quality. Normally, when we our paper is accepted or uh, as minor or major revision, we try to go for revised submission. In the revision, make sure that you do proper uh, rebuttal. Answer all comments from the reviewers. If you disagree, be logical and mention that I don't agree with the reviewer on this point and this is the reason. Uh, all authors with approval, this is important, that without their prior approval, you must not submit. And don't use doctor, professor, student, etc. in the names or affiliations. Affiliations mean departments, address, institutes, and so on. And at least one email address of the corresponding author. The corresponding author is the most important author uh, among uh, the authors uh, who will deal all communications and take the main responsibility of the paper. Uh, for example, this is uh, here, Mr. No, Professor Dr. No, MS student No. Uh, in the revision, make sure that all references, actually in the first submission also, all references are cited in the paper properly. And um, uh, use or uh, follow a reference style, don't mix up. Do not put references from uh, poor journals or conferences and old one. Uh, if you use a uh, web link, make sure that you put access date and uh, put a title where is possible. Remember that if your paper is well read, it will have more readers and useful. Review rebuttal, as I mentioned, is debating, arguing with the reviewers, but make it uh, very smartly and politely. Uh, just uh, one slide on this, that uh, when we submit a paper in a conference, usually oral presentations, it depends from 10, 20, or 30 minutes based on the uh, conference, and there are question and sessions. So make sure that you keep the QA session uh, properly. Session chair will deal and um, look around, don't look at the slides always and above the head <laughs> uh, if you are worried about eye contact. Poster presentations, uh, many people put posters where they just uh, put the paragraphs or unclear images and so on. Make it point-wise score points. Some cases we have interactive poster presentations wh where a session chair moves around the posters and judge. Another one is called Spotlight. Uh, presentation uh, which is one or two minutes only oral presentation and so on let's try to find 100 problems of a crap paper okay so see the title it is too long and this kind of ampersand and so on not good uh, in the authors and affiliations professor dr mr not good msc student so on and if both authors or all authors have same affiliation do not put it double and uh, just one, two uh, superscript and put the 
you mean abstract in this thesis i found in this project it's not good don't put references unless it is really important okay and uh, references are usually 100 words or 200 words and so on keywords only four or five usually uh, related work uh, you uh, need to have a related work or background if the paper is as uh, four, five, six pages. But if it is shorter, then you can put it at the uh, before the final paragraph of the introduction. And uh, no underline or bold usually in the text. Make sure that uh, you have similar pattern. Like here, you mentioned proposed, but here proposed. I blink without hyphen, but here they are connected. So this kind of, I mean, uh, my, my variation. Not good. No mixed fonts or citations. M uh, make sure that no mixed font style he like here or proper citations. Like for example, when you mention an author or some authors, then put the references here, not at the end. In some cases, we have this kind of mistake. See, uh, I mean that there is a spacing problem and so on. When you write a uh, put an image, make sure that a good caption so that if from looking from this uh, uh, sentence we can understand about the image so this is important uh, here uh, sometimes we put uh, all caps it is necessary but uh, when we have all caps we cannot find the typo or uh, uh, i mean typing mistake or uh, this kind of thing so make sure that these are properly done you see that here the text are embedded within the image and these are too tiny and not properly visible so this is uh, important to make sure this is too tiny and i mean this is irresponsible submission after uh, uh, an equation or something where or where when it is a continuous uh, sentence then uh, it will be like this okay and size of equation is important uh, and don't put where w like this and this is an equation where uh, it is uh, in a pro uh, specific format but when we write in the text the uh, mm, variables or notations are in different uh, pattern so make sure that these are uh, based on equation style uh, make sure that proper indentation or tabs are done and spacing problem like this or this not good and you must cite every image or table or reference within the text and explain properly in some cases you have five images but inside the text you did not mention all of those and no explanation properly mention figure fig like this or table i mean don't mix up yeah uh, look at the pattern but usually when you start then make sure that figure full within the text within the sentence sometimes it is okay or sometimes it is okay but not like Look at this here figure. These are not on proper ratio. I mean, not good quality at all. A clear font, too large or tiny. Make sure this is properly done. And figure, and here you wrote fig. So not good. In many cases, flowcharts are normally vertical and have many branches. And in a single column, it is okay. But if you have a double column, then the size and variabilities are different. So here that see that the missing line uh this is not good sometimes uh, there are typo we cannot notice it because it is already uh, as image so we cannot see and missing connections so make sure this is properly done too short as a section make sure that no small section okay like this one and see the section number definitely it will not be the number one and this kind of uh, problems and so on so not good look the color of the text or table or image text not good at uh, look at here that uh, just presenting that uh, this is done but no proper explanation of table graph or image so explain this properly no not just presenting in a sentence this is another example you if, uh, if you look at here that x or y axis the ranges are sometimes are not properly done and if you have similar kind of multiple uh, tables so make sure that you keep the similar range so that we can see the variation. And another thing here, that figure 15, it means that in a paper you have 15 figures. Make sure that all are genuinely important or not. Don't make silly figures. Future work as the last sentences or paragraph of conclusion and references 
not as a separate section so here figure uh, future work numbering or acknowledgement having section number not good and in some cases i found that they thank the supervisor which is not good supervisor is one of the authors and you must get the approval properly uh, to submit a paper we i love my mother sometimes they love their god uh, i mean usually those are not uh, in proper acknowledgements references no section number so avoid too many sections uh, and here you can see that colon but no colon this kind of variations are not good reference style use uh, uh, the template of the that conference or that journal it varies a lot but normally at all i mean uh, add all authors if there are more than five or something uh, you can use uh, all the five authors or six authors first and then put at all see the template and make sure that no mix like this in this case uh, sorry it's not visible i don't know why but for example you write uh, the journal volume uh, number but here you wrote vol and the year is here and this is uh, uh, in another case the year is here and so on so make sure that uh, you don't make mistakes like uh, this you read a here but it is r capital and so on uh, when you use a web reference make sure that this is not too old and google wiki definitely these are not uh, citable thing make sure that you have cited all references properly recent references stop uh, from top and good journals or conferences and what are the minimum numbers if you have six seven pages paper definitely it should be 20 and uh, something like that but if you make a survey paper and only 10 20 references no it should be much more and from top don't get rejected so i recap here that good research within genuine hard work title authors and affiliations abstracts keywords introduction the last paragraph should be the outline of the paper as per sections related to work or literature review or background proposed methodology approach strategy experimental setup and results analyze the results and make discussions conclusions acknowledgement whenever necessary references and sometimes in some cases appendix or authors profiles are added now uh, what you can do that uh, uh, you select five good or bad papers uh, related to your uh, topic and then read those be a reviewer and review try to judge um, as many mistakes as possible based on this so um, uh, you can uh, subscribe the channel so that you can get more information and basically these are the few information after having lots of kicks from many reviewers uh, in the past so there's a few guidelines so if you look at the lecture six and this seven and i hope that you can write your paper properly uh, or in a better manner there are many other lectures online you can explore but these are uh, something from my side next uh, will be research ethics uh, i'll try to cover hopefully thank you so much